So I have here the little Panasonic TC14S15AQ. So I'm just going to set it up now um, with the 240p test bench just to show the scrolling, the even scrolling that this TV produces because it has curved screen and not a flat screen. So um, very easy, easy on this TV to, s to switch between the color system modes. Just press the preset button, and here it's on auto, but you can switch it to PAL or NTSC versions. Just leave it to auto, and uh, the TV will uh, uh, sort out the color signal automatically. So just going to connect it here to my Dreamcast. Turn it on. And we're at GD menu, so just going to go down to the 240p test suite and enter that. So we're going to go down to the scroll test and you'll see that there are no um, kind of, if you have a flat screen uh, TV quite often you'll get you'll get it where um, where the uh, the sections of the screen on the either the center or the edge um, will either contract or expand and you get this on scrolling games you get this weird kind of um, geometry issue where stuff expands here, shrinks here, expands here or it shrinks here, expands here and shrinks there and um, those geometry issues are fairly difficult if not impossible to get out of um, a, a um, from the service menu in TVs so you can see here with the small curved screen of this unit there are no geometry distortions so if you're playing a lot of side scrolling uh, or um, other kind of games from the uh, Super Nintendo or the uh, Sega Master System or the um, Mega Drive, anything like that that uses a lot of side-scrolling uh, platformer type games, uh, you really want something that has a curved screen uh, like that so that you avoid... this is how um, essentially it's meant to be. Uh, so something like a Trinitron or uh, the smaller or a TV that has a curved tube on it I'm not saying that all flat screen tubes are bad, but so many of them, uh, it, it's very difficult to get a CRT that is perfect anyway. But um, you're better off with a smaller um, curved screen if you do play side-scrolling games. So just exit out of this now. Uh, yep. So uh, we can go down to the grid scroll test as well. As you can see there, there's no geometry distortions as the picture is scrolling. So yep, this is a very uh, nice small compact uh, TV that supports all the um, region formats. Uh, nice sharp picture on this TV as well. If you do want to use, uh, get into the um, the the menu to adjust any of the colors or things, you will need in this case a something like a Logitech Harmony or something like that, some other generic uh, remote control that will allow you to get in because it, this TV it doesn't have a, um, a a system menu on the front panel, so, but uh, the picture is excellent. Just as it is.
It also has front AV inputs as well as an earphone uh, output as well, mono speaker. The sound quality is quite good on this TV as well, and being a Panasonic, uh, there should really be no issues with uh, something like this for uh, your gaming needs. So this TV as well, it has this nice kind of um, more modern uh, kind of silver, kind of a darkish silver finish as well. And uh, it's kind of a two-tone effect as you come around here. This section's black, this section's silver. And there we have specs on this TV. Uh, the standard uh, aerial in and um, composite input as well. So just going to test now with uh, a game in uh, standard composite mode just to give you an idea uh, with the quality that you can expect from uh, from this uh, TV. The, it's always very difficult to capture um, CRT footage um, with the camera uh, so this does look better in person than the flickery uh, display here. I am capturing it uh, one fiftieth, uh, but yep, it's uh, still a bit flickery um, with the camera. <laughs> 